Hello and welcome back to another video. So today I've got a dream board theme called OS10 Lion Ultimatum. Now this has got to be the most advanced theme I've ever seen. So let's go on with it. Okay, so to install this, you are going to need two things. You're going to need dream board, which again, you can search for in Cydia. And you're also going to need to download the theme for it. So if I just open up Cydia and the the theme is free to download uh, and like I said it's called OS 10 Lion Ultimatum as you can see here um, so all you have to do is search for that and install it so if we just go into dream board as you can see it opens up now I've only got one installed that one in the middle came is the default well the second theme that you get with this application so we're gonna go into the lion one so people who have Macs out there will probably be notice uh, the installation looks very, very similar to the installation of OS X. So as you can see here, install Mac OS X, and we're just gonna click on the continue down here. And there we go, you just need to click it again. So as you can see, it looks very similar to the installation. Uh, welcome, I'm gonna click continue. Now here you can select the device you're actually installing this on, and notice it doesn't have the iPad, um, so it's basically the iPhone, iPhone 3G, iPhone 4, the white iPhone 4, and iPod Touch different generations. So I'm on the iPhone 4, and I'm gonna click continue. And my username is Matt, so that's fine. And we can pick a picture. I'm gonna pick the, the lion up there. And now we've got some things we can select. So on the dock, um, what do we want the icon to be for iTunes? Now, I don't particularly like the uh, iTunes logo, so I'm gonna change it to the iPod. And I'm going to leave it on mission control down there, which is fine. I'm going to click continue. So here we've got to select the status bar. So it says here, select how you want the status bar and find a bar to interact. You can launch the installer from the Macintosh HD to change it later on. So for this, we're just going to leave it on the default and click continue. Uh, arrange the status bar. Again, we're going to leave that and just keep on going. Clean status. We'll just keep going. Okay, so here it's asking us which icon do we want for Safari. Now, it seems very strange. Why would you have... Firefox icon for Safari, I've no idea why, but there you go, I'm gonna go with Safari, click continue, and here I select the SMS app you want in your dock. Again, I'm quite happy um, with the default one, and click continue, and that is it, so thank you, and I've got the button here saying start using Lion. And there you go, look at that, that has got probably the best theme I've ever seen on the iPhone, and as you can see, it looks very much like OS X. So here we have our Macintosh HD. We can tap on that and it gives us the even, gives us the finder window. And from here we can go into say applications and here are the apps installed on my phone. So for example, there's Facebook, there's iTunes, all of that good stuff. And we can close it off by tapping on the X. So if you look down here on the dock, we do have finder. So if we tap on that and it brings up the finder, we can go to our applications. And if we tap on the next one, which is um, Launchpad. And as you can see here, we've got some applications that we can go through, which is quite nice. If we come out of there, we have the, the music app, we have email, SMS, and here we have uh, Mission Control, and it launches up uh, Facebook and Twitter. And again, we can go back to the desktop, or we can go to the dashboard, all of that good stuff. And again, we have shortcuts here, so we can have some favorites. And here, if we tap on the recycle bin, you get this edit mode. So welcome to the editing mode. Tap on an app icon placeholder to change the icon and then press on the home button when you're done. So here we can place some applications and tap on there. And if we come down, if we add in, what can we add? If we add in Twitter and tap on the home icon. And there you go. So you can add in all the icons at the same time. And again, we can swipe over here and it looks very much like the Mac. So again, we've got here, if we can go tap on file and we can pull down all these menus. This is a very, very advanced theme. And I just wanted to show you how it worked. So if you found this video useful and you liked it, please click that like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, uh, click on the subscribe button just above. And as always, guys, I'll catch you all in the next video.